Sharon and I have been married for 16 years. We both work for the Department of Homeland Security. And during that particular time, both of us were going through a divorce. We were both divorcees and we had children. That kind of brought us together. Basically, the kids got along. Um, they enjoyed spending time with each other and we took it from there. It was probably around late 2014, early 2015. Um, pretty much we just grew apart. We just both kind of checked out mentally, physically, emotionally. We had other things that were more important to us. Work was important, running around with the kids with activities, bills were being paid, everything was taken care of as a whole, but we weren't working on our relationship, and that was the problem. Selfishly, a part of me wanted to move on and didn't want to be in a relationship. But the more I prayed, God didn't give me that answer. He started directing me towards other people. We really reached out to Christian friends, Christian couples. Um, we listened to people who we knew that were going to help us and not point fingers at us or find fault in us. They said, we're going to continue to pray for you and allow God to give you direction on what is supposed to take place in your relationship. First and foremost, God was there. He was always there, no matter what. And we prayed and asked him for guidance and asked him for direction. I realized that you're gonna go through things, just like your relationship with God, you go through peaks and valleys. Marriage is the exact same thing. Once I started realizing that for this relationship to work, we needed to come together. We started communicating more. And we laid a lot of stuff on the table, a lot of hurt and pain that we both had held in. We just made a conscious decision that we were gonna make this work. We started praying together and gradually started reading the Bible together. And I think that began the transformation, taking the time out for each other. Because before it was just all about family. And I think once we realized that that was the issue, then a relationship started to flourish and started to grow at that time. Sharon and I's um, relationship is different now in the fact that we really love being around each other. We're able to spend time together, like quality time together. We're empty nesters, so we just get an opportunity just to enjoy each other. You know, we have a good time. We laugh about things that are probably people don't think they're funny, but we think they're funny. I'm glad that I'm involved in a church that is committed to beautiful marriages. We have a beautiful marriage and I'm so, so very grateful for it.